actor, singer, producer, former Miss World and one of India's highest paid celebrities, Priyanka Chopra has found international fame and success. She's also been named one of the world's most influential people and she makes a point of using her influence to help others. She's a vocal advocate for the environment and she has an especially soft spot for children. She's a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador for Children's Rights and this year she visited Southern Africa. Deep into the eyes of a child. Established in 1946, the United Nations Children's Fund is an international program that's dedicated to promoting the rights and well-being of children across the globe. And the South African country office held its first fundraising gala event in Josie recently. A flurry of activity at the entrance to the venue heralded the arrival of the VVIP. But this was just a walk through and Priyanka definitely didn't have time for a chat. The start of the event was still a few hours away. Preparations for the fashion show took place under the watchful eye of internationally acclaimed designer and UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador Gavin Roger. I like to try and use my visibility to kind of contribute towards providing a safer kind of environment and community for kids. And, and in this particular instance, I think the ball is kind of highlighting violence against children. It's something in South Africa which uh, is very prevalent and, and it's something that we really need to address. A little later, the bustle was over and the venue was filled with an ambiance of welcoming elegance. Tonight, UNICEF is hosting its inaugural fundraising gala right here in Johannesburg. Its main aim is to highlight the global campaign of ending violence against children. In attendance will be some of the country's high-profiled and most respected guests and an auction will be held to leverage their support. Global superstar and Goodwill ambassador Priyanka Chopra will be delivering the keynote address. While friends and acquaintances danced the foyer shuffle, Michelle made his way to former Miss South Africa and Miss World, Rolien Strauss. Rolien, you look absolutely beautiful and welcome to Mela. What would your message be in terms of ending violence against children? I would definitely say that it starts with us people ourselves. If we set a good example for those around us, spread the love, then um, it's like a ripple effect. Meanwhile, Michelle spotted TV host Nandi Madida. Nandi, you look absolutely beautiful. Now tonight is about ending violence against children. What is your hope and message? Unfortunately, our moral fiber isn't that strong in South Africa and it would be great um, just to see us re focus on that. And that starts literally when a kid is born, it's important to make sure that the family provides a comfortable place to live in because it really starts at home. The guests had dressed and accessorized to the glamorous occasion in mind. But no one could steal any attention away from Priyanka in exquisite sari. Although closely shepherded by bodyguards and assistants, she remained charming and friendly, as well as being most amenable to a photo op. Joining me is UNICEF Ambassador Joanne Strauss. Joanne, as the National Ambassador, what does your role entail? Being a National Ambassador, essentially what it entails is we promote the work of what UNICEF is doing in South Africa and my particular focus is ending violence against children. I think it's something that is so important and it was our great President Nelson Mandela who once said that a society is judged by how it treats its children and in terms of that, as a nation, we are failing. Each one of us has the responsibility to make sure that they love and protect their own children, children in their communities, children in their neighborhood, children in schools, so that every child has the right to be loved, free and cared for and can survive and thrive in an equal way as anyone else. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, of course, to this incredible, incredible evening. What an incredible organization and what a wonderful evening tonight, because we all understand that we are here because of children. After Joanne's words of welcome, the evening's entertainment could begin. The aim of the gathering and the organization was then outlined by the resident UNICEF representative in South Africa. Mahatma Gandhi reminded us that if we wish to create a lasting peace, then we must begin with the children. So without further ado, allow me to welcome our UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, Priyanka Chopra. This trip 
really opened my eyes to so much more than I had ever known. Collectively taking all my experiences, I still had preconceived notions. I was still surprised. I was still shocked. And I've seen a lot. People and children that are truly forgotten. I don't think we or the world knows, and which is why it's so important what we are doing here today. It is so important that each one of us who are privileged, we are so privileged, we are the voices. One out of three children in Zimbabwe has experienced sexual violence. Imagine a psychological effect it has on a child who is six or 10 or 11, who has no idea what this means, but what it does to her as she grows up, her life changes. This statistic is one out of five in South Africa. All this money that is going to be raised is for children in this country, for safe parks, for safe places, for these kids who are denied the right to live, who are denied the right to exist, who are denied the right to have their own minds and dignity. Your children. Priyanka's message had a personal resonance for music mogul Zeke Bantwini. Zeke, you openly share that you've experienced a violent upbringing. Do you believe that you resonate more with the youth because of that? I think for me, definitely, because you go to Wamash, you go to a different township, it's one and the same struggle. Domestic violence is there, even though it's not visible as it is now. You know, so when I talk about these particular issues, that they know it's 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 a, not only this is a person that 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 is famous, but the person that they sometimes see and they they, they they sit down and they have a conversation with him. Tonight we celebrate, we inspired, and we share the hope to all the children of the world. Priyanka's message had certainly given the guests some food for thought, which they could digest while enjoying an interlude of sensual styles for red carpet and black tie occasions. Fashion and philanthropy may seem worlds apart, but businessman Ashok Sunarine had a different perspective. Aksha, fashion and jewellery is playing a role tonight in raising funds. How do you believe that these industries can empower the youth? I think the fashion industry is not particularly glamour oriented. There are elements of humanity which lie beneath that surface. Um, and I think it's hugely important to try and translate that into a charitable endeavour and not allow it to only be translated or seen upon as something which is very fickle. Then it was time to get down to a different kind of business with an auction that generated fun and funds. Among the items for sale were gowns that had graced the show. For 12,000 red all through all done. Sold to the lady for 12,000. Congratulations, ma'am. The gala dinner has been a key public moment in calling on everyone in South Africa to end violence against children. It makes me think of the African proverb, it takes a village to raise a child, which has a much deeper meaning to me now.